Hi guys, welcome back to the second part about text animations. Today I will show you animations that I forgot to show you in my previous video. And also I saw all your requests about how to make 3D outro in After Effects, my 3D outro in After Effects, but probably I can't show it to you cause I forgot how to what? make it. And in my opinion, outro it is something unique and special for uh, editors and if we will have uh, the same outro it will be not cool so i hope Please that you no, understand me no. and also before i start don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel now i don't distract you anymore let's go to after effects first it is flicker first it is flicker animation to make it create your text right mouse button new text and write something also you can align your text to the center choose the font and the size then go to effects and find deep glow add to your text layer put here 200 and here 0 0.7 also don't forget about drop shadow find drop shadow add to your text for opacity put 100 and for distance put 10 and for th softness you can put 3.5 go to effects and find flicker exposure and add to your text as you can see animation is ready but you can change the value for it open your text text then go to animation open this here you can change the value for example it can be 8 and the animation will be slower or 25 Second animation, it is handwriting text. Choose the font that look like handwriting and then choose it and choose pen tool. Zoom it, holding alt and for preview put full, it will be easier to circle the text. And now just circle the text like I do. When you finished it, put for preview again quarter and go to effects and find stroke. Add to your text, then choose all masks and for paint style uh, choose reveal original image and for brush size uh, put 8 and also if you have more text effects on your text layer put stroke on the top then open it and uh, click on clock near end and put 0 go a few frames ahead and put 100 then press U on your keyboard select the keys press F9 go to graph settings and uh, put my graph The third animation it is the third animation it is 3D text to make it create solid black solid okay and then go to effects and find element and also add to your uh, solid then go to custom layers custom text and mask and for path layer first uh, choose your text for me it is example and then press scene setup here you need to click extrude and now you can turn on your imagination and play with the settings or you can put mine i usually put here uh, turn off draft textures it will improve quality but not always so play with it and look uh, how it works exactly for you for be well copies i put two and uh, change be well scale to five make it more bigger then go to these options and also change it to 2 and also put 2. It also uh, improves your quality, quality of your text. Then open this model and choose BVL2 and change these values. Here put 30 and here 70. Then go to presets, pro shaders and also you can find something you like or you can repeat mine uh, for b12 one i put metal bronze and for uh, b12 two i will put clean metal then go to environment and choose here something for me it will be it yes then press ok and that's it now you need to make your text more realistic to make it open render settings and open light and choose here 360 or i usually choose cinema then open shadows and enable it and don't forget about this option open it also enable and choose ray traced 
Now we need to create a camera with 28 millimeters. Create new camera and for preset port 28 millimeters. Okay, and uh, you can see the difference now. It is with camera and it is without, with and without. So now we need to create light. Click here, new, light, and repeat my settings. Press OK and pre uh, select it and press Ctrl D. Then turn off your second light and put the first uh, light as you like. I usually put it like this. Then turn on your first, your second light and also change the position for it. And that's it. Now we need to animate uh, the text. To make it select your black solid and open world transform and click on the clock at the beginning put zero go a few frames ahead and put one then press U on your keyboard select the keys press F9 and uh, here choose edit value graph and just repeat my graph you can make it faster or slower so I like how it looks. Now I want to add some rotation. Uh, to do it, go to group one, particle look, multi object, and uh, put a tick here. Then go to the beginning of your text and click on the clock here and put minus 280. Press U again, go a few frames ahead and put minus 11 or if you want zero. It can be. Then select again the, uh, the keys, press F9, go open graph and just repeat my graph. And it looks nice. You can also add a scale effect, like this scale effect. To make it go to the beginning again, click on clock, go a few frames ahead and put 0 0.3. Again press U, select the keys, press F9 and repeat my graph and that's it now if you want you can add deep glow to do it select all your text layers and pre-compose it don't forget to put a tick here press ok and uh, select it and press ctrl d then go to effects and find deep glow add to your uh, second text layer put a tick here for radius put 200 and for exposure put 1.5 and also don't forget about drop shadow and add to your first text layer put for opacity 100 and for distance put 20 and for softness 11 to show you a difference i will create a solid it can be red solid so it is with drop shadow and it is without so with drop shadow it looks very good the last text effect it is gradient ramp to make it copy the values from previous deep glow and drop shadow and then go to effects and find gradient uh, ramp add your text and put it on top then click swap uh, colors and for black choose white and for a start color uh, put uh, the color you like for me it will be red and then just change the position as you like and as you want for me it can be here and also to make your text more beautiful you can add as edge race uh, go to effects and uh, find as edge race at your text layer put it on top and open it and just copy my settings for race length put uh, 0.4 for brightness put 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 and that's it it's ready i hope that this tutorial was useful for you and if this is so don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to write what tutorial you want to see next so thanks for your attention guys see you soon